Being ably made the public pronouncement of the budget policy highlights for the national government for the financial year 2020 2021 and the medium term and the revenue raising measures contained in its uh, speech. Honourable members, as you are aware, today's uh, budget speech is not to be accompanied by the usual cocktail and courtesies. In this regard, honour members, and all guests are invited to depart, particularly from the pressings of Parliament at their own pleasure. <laughs> and the time now being um, 4.35 p.m. Honour members, the House stands adjourned till Tuesday, June the 16th at 10 a.m. And there we have it. We've had uh, the Treasury Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Atani tabling his maiden budget before the National Assembly. Some quick headline figures which uh, have been mentioned by the Treasury CS. Aggregate expenditure stands at 2.7 trillion shillings and of course the revenue is projected at 1.8 trillion shillings and therefore that means is that the government is staring at a deficit or a shortfall of 840.6 billion shillings which the Treasury Cabinet Secretary has indicated that will be sourced both domestically and externally with external sourcing standing at about 347 billion shillings. Some of the priority areas which have been um, accorded uh, uh, allocation, I should say, by the National Treasury include the aspects of food security at an allocation, a proposed allocation of 52 billion shillings, uh, propping up the horticulture sector at 1.6 billion shillings. The government is again talking about 3 billion shillings designated for subsidies of agriculture inputs. You'll remember that uh, not too far back, uh, CS for Agriculture and Peter Munya indicated that the government was doing away with the input, subsidy, input subsidy, subsidy scheme. So we wait to see how this will exactly play out. Uh, for the manufacturing sector, once again, the government reiterating the designation of 600 million shillings set aside for the purchase of locally assembled uh, vehicles. And the Treasury has also spoken to the subject of uh, pending bills where it has indicated about 38 billion shillings and of course directing the counties to accelerate the rate at which this is settled. The Kenya Morgan Refinance Corporation, which uh, is targeted at ensuring this access to affordable housing, has raised thus far 2 billion shillings. That's the KMRC by itself. Of course, the Treasury CS indicated that the Treasury has mobilized additional resources from external financiers. So we wait to see that breakdown and how it looks like. The Treasury has also uh, indicated matters regarding 5 billion shillings set aside for a damaged, for re for repair of damaged access roads and uh, the key goal here is to ensure that there's employment creation for the youth uh, alongside the Kazim Tani whereby he does indicate that thus far it has employed 26,000 youth across the country and the target by the end of the financial year that is uh, June 2021 is to employ as many as 200,000. Some further 10 million shillings has been designated um, for the settlement of pending VAT refunds, uh, the key caveat here is that the Treasury CS was very categorical that this will have to be verified and ascertained. So therefore, there's still some verification process to be done as far as this is concerned. And 1.6 billion.